Hello everyone, Berserker here, and welcome to Europa Universalis 4, The Rights of Man. Um, it's been about a week uh, since the DLC came out, but um, I've been, uh, you know, trying it out, playing it for a few days, and um, I would have probably uploaded a video on it a couple days earlier, but uh, Battlefield 1 came out, and I've been doing that for the past few days. I'll probably make some videos on uh, Battlefield as well. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be playing as Hungary, um, you know, um, most people that are playing the, the DLC here are either playing as Brandenburg and Prussia or the Ottomans or Ethiopia because, uh, you know, the changes have majorly influenced those countries, whereas uh, that's not really the case with Hungary. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to try something different and uh, play as Hungary, see how it's gonna go. Um, I, I don't think I've ever um, made a video on Europa Universalis 4 before, um, I'm not very good at the game, um, but I, I think I'm, I'm decent enough, uh, I'm by no means like expert, so this campaign might actually go to hell, you know, we, we might not uh, be very successful, especially since Hungary is not actually the, the easiest country to, to play in the game, uh, because the... Um, with the rights of man expansion, you know, the changes have made the Ottomans very, very powerful. I can pretty much confidently say that the Ottomans are pretty much the uh, the most powerful country in the game right now, especially at the start, uh, because the way that, um, you know, they, they introduced the whole uh, institution system, um, which uh, kind of replaces the technology groups. Uh, well, one of the things that was, uh, you know, keeping the Ottomans back before was the fact that they were in the Anatolian um, technology group, which uh, they still are, but it's kind of irrelevant because the way that, um, you know, institutions work, um, you know, you, um, it, it, like, they essentially start with Western tech. And uh, when the Renaissance starts, it usually starts in Northern Italy, and usually the Ottomans are, are able to pick up the, the, the Renaissance like faster than some of the North European countries. But um, yeah, anyways, let's uh, let's go and, uh, and play, see what we're gonna do. So basically the plan is Hungary is, uh, you know, we're gonna try to expand, we're gonna try to conquer the Balkans, we're probably gonna try to fight the Ottomans as much as possible, although, you know, as I said, that's gonna be kind of a difficult task, so let's see here who rivaled us. Now, it's great that Poland didn't actually rival me, let's see, they, they actually have, uh, they actually have friendly attitude, so we're gonna aim for an alliance with uh, Poland. Hopefully they're gonna enter a union with Lithuania, which they usually do. So that's gonna be one of the first things we do. But let's uh, let's pick rivals first. So we're probably gonna want Serbia as a rival. I think they uh, yeah they have rivaled me as well. We're gonna pick Wallachia as well because I pretty much want to annex all of those countries: uh, Bosnia, Serbia, Wallachia, Moldavia. I will try and annex them because they're smaller countries, they'll probably enter alliances with each other, but um, shouldn't be that hard. And I want to annex as much of that territory as possible before I actually go and fight the Ottomans. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. One more, um, one more rival. I'm probably gonna go for Venice first off. They are rivaling me and, uh, you know, Venice shouldn't be too hard to... Uh, um, you know, beats. Right now, they don't have allies. Yep, it's the start of the game, so that's normal. We're gonna see how they will end up, but, um, yeah, for now, let's, uh, let's pick them as a rival. We're gonna do that. Okay, uh, we have some provincial unrest, which probably has to do with religion. Yeah, we have some, uh, orthodox provinces. Uh, probably the, the first idea group that I'm gonna pick is, uh, the religious, um, uh, ideas because I really, you know, there, there are a lot of provinces that are not Catholic and most of the most of the land that I'm gonna conquer is actually not Catholic so we're gonna have to do a lot of conversion and we're gonna have a lot of um, unrest because of it um, so, you know, whenever I can I will probably pick religious ideas. We're probably gonna go for humanists later on as well um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see how things are gonna turn out. There you go we have some orthodox provinces uh, they're gonna take quite a while to convert and right now we have 87 percent religious unity which is not too bad but you know we have a little bit of national unrest we have a little bit of corruption as well it's going up oh yeah i'm actually rooting it out which cost me uh 0.09 ducats a month that is not a huge issue right now so let's pick a mission right now we're probably going to try to 
solidify people relations because uh, I cannot enter any wars right now because I actually start with a Regency Council which is uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be zero 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 um, I don't know we'll see how it's gonna go once we unpause but uh yeah we have an air well no there is actually there's gonna be an event later on that is gonna you know we're gonna have to decide what we're gonna do and who's gonna be the ruler so right now, I don't want to have any sort of army maintenance, so I'm not going to be going to war. Let's see what I'm going to do with my ships. I only have one light ship, so instead of like protecting trade and doing anything like that, I'm just going to, you know, um, you know, just going to keep the, the, the maintenance. So I'm not going to do anything with my ships right now. I'm going to keep the force active just so, uh, you know, I can probably... Yeah, I, right now I don't really have any army tradition, so I might be better off actually turning the, the, the forts off. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm better off doing that. I'm gonna turn them on if we actually have like a dangerous like rebellion reaching, uh, you know. Um, yeah, if, 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 you know, there's a possibility of a rebellion, one of those provinces. So yeah, we're gonna pause. Um, I will try and send some diplomats and I'll, I'll try to get uh, some alliances. I want Poland. Let's see who has rivaled the Ottomans. Austria, okay, has, um, Austria has also rivaled Poland, and I think I'm better off uh, having Poland as an ally, but um, I'm not gonna go for, for Austria, because, um, you know, once I, once I ally their rival, they're gonna dislike me for it, and I certainly do not want that. Who else? Byzantium, I don't, I don't wanna um, get an alliance with Byzantium, because that's gonna be an automatic war with the Ottomans, so I don't want that. And the Mamluks, and I assume the Mam the Mamluks are not really gonna be up for an alliance. So let's let's look somewhere else. Let's see uh, let's see how opinion is. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, right now I can pretty much go for for anyone. Uh, but yeah, Poland is gonna be crucial. I can take Bohemia. Probably they have Brandenburg and the Teutonic Order as rivals. Poland's probably gonna try to fight the. Um, the Teutonic Order, so probably gonna, I'm gonna send a diplomat there, trying to uh, improve relations, and I will also get a royal marriage with uh, Poland as well. And that's what we're gonna do. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit boring at the start. Like, uh, there's not gonna be much to do. Or there are gonna be a few events, you know, because right now we have a Regency Council. Uh, we don't really have a ruler. Um, yeah, so. We, um, they also added like a new system for the rulers. Um, you know, the, the DLC has been out for, for a week. So, uh, you know, if you follow the, you know, uh, what's going on with uh, Europe and Universalis, you should know these things. But um, they basically added a new system where uh, rulers have traits now. They get a trait uh, once they reach the age of 15. Then they get another one once they rule for 10 years. And they get a third one if they rule for additional... Uh, 15 years. So yeah, they, they have trades. Some of them are positive. Some of them are negative and uh, That's basically how it works There is the um, Royal marriage uh, with Poland. It's gonna be minus five legitimacy, but we can take that hit. I would rather have that uh, Poland is a great power. We're not we're not really close to being a great power Well, we, we actually are once we annex some of those countries we might actually you know get our um Great power status, and basically, once you're a great power, you have um, you can do certain actions. Um, I don't know if we can see them right now. No, unless we're a great power. But yeah, you can you can enter wars and influence other factions and uh, cool stuff like that. Uh, and uh, the great powers are basically the eight most powerful countries that have you know the the most development stuff like that. So uh, when the country uh, about I guess that is about to disintegrate after the disastrous battle of Varna and the death of King Vladislav and the loss to the Ottomans, the Voivode Janus Hunyadi called together a diet in February 1445 in, a, in an attempt to unite the country again. The division was almost unmanageable and anarchy was closed, but Hunyadi was finally elected as a regent in June of 1446. So, we can either get um, a Habsburg leader uh, as an heir and Austria is going to dislike us for that 
or we can gain one stability, uh, get a different Habsburg who actually has better stats with a strong claim, and the nobility are gonna go disloyal. I think I'm gonna do that because I want the uh, positive stability and the air is much better. And uh, as for the nobility, we can definitely increase their loyalty. So I don't think that that 15 hit to loyalty is gonna be a big deal. So we're gonna do that. So we, we do have an air right now. Um, yeah, he is five years old. So we're gonna have a Regency Council that is not gonna accumulate any sort of uh, Monarch points. So we're gonna have uh, very low, yeah, we're just gonna have three points every month, which is, you know, uh, it, it could be significant because we're not gonna be able to pick up any sort of good tech at the start, but um, we have a good air, you know, he's five years old. And uh, let's see what we're gonna do about the nobility. I mean, it's not, wow, they have, they have 27%. Um, yeah, that, that that's not good. They control 27%. Okay, um, so the Ottomans declared a war in Albania. That's normal. Uh, we have an heir. Let's see what we're gonna do with the nobility. So we can, sacrifice five prestige and they're gonna gain 15 loyalty and gain 10 influence which uh wouldn't be that bad what if i what if i take one of their um one of their provinces let's see here how pissed off are they gonna be well actually i should go i should go uh here um yeah i can take one of those provinces for example um this one's five percent this one's nine percent Let's see if I if I take this one from them. Um, oh, okay. So I cannot I can overfolk any of them. Um, not until November. So we're gonna wait until November, and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do about it. As for the other estates, I don't like to play around with them too much, but um, you know we can we can afford that. We can ask for some extra ducats. I mean they're loyal right now, so that's not gonna be too bad. And um. I don't want him to lose too much loyalty. So, well, what we can do is um, basically we took, um, how much did we take? 42 ducats. And here, what we can do is we can pay those back. We can basically take this and um, then I can do that and just um, basically buy 50 administrative points for um, for 40 ducats, which I think I'm gonna do because right now I'm, I'm making good money and I kind of need those points. So I'm gonna do that uh, with the clergy. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. I mean, I can get some people influence. Uh, they'll gain 10, 10 influence, but uh, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I mean, they're just at 52. So right now everything is under control and we're not gonna mess around with the nobility. I think it can go up to four for now. Uh, okay, that is a trade league. So we're gonna have to wait for about 10 years before we can really do anything. Um, probably wanna get some advisors as well. So let's see here, national uh, manpower modifier, land maintenance, maintenance modifier, I mean, uh, we can get some like good people because my income right now is, is very stable. I have a lot of money and I'm not really accumulating any sort of monarch points. I mean, I'm getting three of each every month basically. So that's not really um, that good. This guy, I think I might take this guy because he gives me two points per month and uh, gives me 10% national tax modifier. So let's see how much money I'm actually making each month. Uh, making well, yeah, only making seven. Uh, if we increase it by ten percent, it, it, he's not gonna pay for himself. But um, yeah, let's 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 see. So he's gonna cost four, which is about um, just more than fifty percent actually. No, I don't I don't want to pick that guy. We're gonna pick the prestige guy. Um, here, better relations over time. Diplomatic reputation could be good, but he's too expensive. I don't really want to get. I don't want to want to pay for each month. Um, trade efficiency, not really. I am gonna pick this guy. And for military, well, yeah, we can use some more 
manpower, sure. Yeah, okay, there you go. Uh, so Poland is using uh, one of their um, Great Powers uh, abilities and they're actually influencing Mazovia right now, trying to get a better opinion. Bunch of factions entering a um, trade league with Venice. We have a new Pope as well. So let's see who is the Papal controller right now. Um, that would be the Papal State. We don't have any Cardinals right now, so we're not accumulating Papal influence, but eventually we we'll probably are. I have 10 people influence because um, I, 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 I used a uh, like an estate thing. Well, um, I can probably actually recruit a few more troops. Let's see how um, how this is uh, this is gonna go. I'm just gonna keep it running because right now there's not really much that I can do. Um, fabricating claims. I should probably use my uh, diplomats. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna. Yeah, I wanna I wanna attack Bosnia. Let's see if they have. Yep, they have allied Serbia. Uh, I have one in uh, Bohemia because I wanna pick an alliance with them. Can't do it right now, but we're gonna keep working on them a little bit more. And I'm gonna build a spy network in Wallachia too. So yeah, we're using all three of our diplomats. And uh, yeah, so let's see how the um, how many more troops we can get. We have 17 out of 23. Let's see, build a great palace. Monarchs were often struggling with ways to subdue the nobility. The rise of forearms reduced the nobles' role as warriors, but left them with, in the eyes of the monarchs, too much idle time. Some monarchs created new palaces with elaborate court rituals to dazzle the nobles and keep them occupied. Versailles is the greatest expression of this movement. So we're gonna. We can either build a palace, we can get uh, 20 legitimacy, which we're not going to use all of it because we have 92 right now. We're going to gain 10 prestige, which would be cool. Although right now, you know, we're not going to be fighting. We don't really need that much prestige at this point. Um, but it's it's 43 ducats. We once again have a stable income. We have a lot of money, so I think I'm going to go for it. Basically going to go to 100% legitimacy. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's see if Bohemia would, um, yeah, they, they would accept a uh, royal marriage. Uh, Poland has gone to war with the Teutonic Order, but yeah, basically what I was what I was gonna do, I wanted to see, um, you know, I have uh, four cavalry and uh, the rest is infantry. Now I, I don't really want that. Um, I think. I only want two cavalry right now, and I'm mainly going to use infantry. Like, combat is one of the things that I'm not very good at, at the game. Uh, like, that's not really, you know, I don't really under... Plus, they, they made some changes to, to the way that the combat works. But uh, for now, I don't really want to have too much cavalry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of each cavalry, and I'm just going to disband them. Um, and I'm going to recruit some more infantry because like especially early game that's usually how people do it so that's kind of what i want to do as well so uh let's see here let's get um let's get three more infantry for each army okay vania left cool so yeah I i'm gonna do that for now when i have some more infantry i want to see what my combat width is as well right now we have 20 so I don't need more than 20 troops pretty much. I need 18 infantry and two cavalry. So I'm gonna have like a full army and I'm gonna be able to flank pretty much. That's, you know, how I should do it right now. Uh, let's see, uh, those provinces I can convert. Uh, yeah, the store, it, it actually said that it's gonna take more time. So um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's start converting. Um, you know, religious unity, not really, not really an issue right now, but, um, you know, I don't, you know, want to convert those provinces, don't want them to cause any sort of trouble, we don't really have any uprisings, that is good. Well, okay, um, I think that's going to be it for this episode, not really too much happening, but, um, you know, once we get our air, uh, he's got to be 15, um, yeah, he's going to get his first personality trait, 
And um, yeah, we're gonna start fighting Bosnia and Serbia. I think we're gonna be able to take them on, like both of them. If not, uh, you know, we, we're probably gonna get like Bohemia as an ally, or um, you know, probably gonna look for more factions to get an alliance with. And um, you know, that's uh, probably what's gonna happen in the next episode. So yeah, that's gonna be it for now, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.